Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. I have made this special crystal with 16 times a custom, so 320% more vault experience. And I could run the Golden Burger as well. I think I have that. Yeah, we do have this one, which doubles the vault experience gained inside a vault. And I don't know if that's going to double this, or does that just give you like an extra 100% vault experience? I mean, I don't know if it's necessary, because the 320% should potentially get us to level 100. I mean, I sacrifice my prismatic feather, which I kind of need for my jumpiness. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna do the burger. I can give the burger to somebody else if they want to level up faster. I am gonna bring Nightmare's Doll, which has 76% experience efficiency, so he should get a ton of experience from that. We, have, <laughs> we got two wild, that's fine, and one shortened. Okay, so we have 28 minutes instead of 29. I can turn on my Archon, and I think we're ready to go. Oh, there's a Vendor Altar, I will do that. Oh, Kill Dweller Mobs, that's easy. Especially since we have two wild. Hey, there we go. We got a point. Lovely. Ah, I knew there was a dungeon here. Normal skeleton. Not a problem. Oh, and there's an archive thing. Storm arrow go in. There we go. Lovely. We get cleanse spirit totem megadig. I think I'll do the spirit totem. We have to unlock all of them anyway, so I think that one's uh, an okay one. Hey, another dungeon. Oh, please don't be like impossible spider. Thank you. It's living and it's just a basic spider. Oh. Is the strat with Archon in spider dungeons to get stuck in cobwebs? There we go. Oh, there's an archive thing. Hello. We'll do the hate hatred totem, I guess. Get all the totems. And I learned in these that there's like hidden spots in places, like up here. Where there's chests. Yep, there we go. I don't feel like reading this time around. We're 16 seconds. We have lodestone. We did. There we go. We got 2,357,128 XP. Maybe the thing was overkill, but at least the amount of XP that... That was way overkill. We needed, what, 1,110,300... <laughs> We got for like two levels, we got XP. Um, yeah, okay, we're level 100. Woo! <laughs> Yay, we did it. <laughs> uh, that was a bit overkill, but you know, better overkill than not overkill. And an artifact. And if it's a new one, it was totally worth it. Oop. It is not a new one, it's this one with Jardon. Ooh, chaining can go up to six now. That I didn't know. Okay, that's cool. We got quite a few decent jewels that are gonna go into the storage. We also did complete a regular bounty. We still need to go do another light the monoliths, which... Again, update 13. This will switch to light the braziers, and I can just easily complete this because light the braziers will have a seal, and I can just go specifically run that. We now have our last expertise point, which is gonna go into fortunate, so we have that maxed out now. And also, one more into stone skin, so we get 80% more knockback resistance. I have prepared all the ores that we have mined from the vaults so far, and we're gonna go and fortune them. We can use vein miner to mine all these, or we can go with a hammer, and I think vein miner should be just fine. I unlearned three skull points, and we now have full vein miner for 64 blocks at a time. And you can see that we didn't get enough as much sparkle teen as we got some other ones, for example, over here. Also, the little bit of echo that we can do right here. And I do have this backpack on me so we can collect everything. That was 13.
The thing that I'm most excited about is the chromatic iron, because we're fresh out. So I am going to take this over to Math's place and ask him if he can, I think, five times it, or at least three times it, because I only have doubling, and you can do five times with mechanism as well. And there we go, everything is gone. I have not opened the backpack yet, so let's see. 7,000, almost 8,000 Laramar. 6,000 Beniotide almost. Around 200-ish of all the gems. 300-something of the other ones. That's a lot of chromatic iron. That is gonna be at least, uh, probably three, three, four thousand 3,000-ish if we triple it. So that's gonna be really good. All right, let's go empty the bag and see about that chromatic iron. One of my new patrons, Halo, asked me to craft him three magnets. And I did, and I forgot to change the level to be level 50. So I crafted three 100 level magnets, and one of them turned down to be Omega, and I already put it right here. I put some crafting into it, and we have 30% item rarity, 14% item quantity, extra 13,000 durability, a bit of mining speed, 13 velocity, and we have very good range and very good velocity with high durability on the implicits. I really don't care about the cost anymore for dying because I just don't die if I don't do anything super dangerous like impossible dungeons. So let's just run some vaults. We need some level 100 gear because we're running level 90 something gear. So let's get level 100 if we can. I realized I was not using taunt very much inside of the vaults. So I decided to replace it with mana shield. And if you get 10 points in mana shield, it blocks 100% of your incoming damage and transfers that damage to your mana pool. And with our high mana region, I thought it would be a cool thing to try, so I did a monolith vault with that ability. Alrighty, let's go find the monoliths. Do, did I unspec hunter? I don't have hunter spec'd, I don't think from last time, right? Yeah, 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 okay, we'll select observer just so we can find the monoliths easier. Okay, cool. There's a thingy. Hello, monolith. Let's see. I think it's okay with the mana shield. I will see. I think I might be just draining too much mana, to be honest. And there we go. Chromatic iron capes. I am spending my time right here. Oh, there's a vendor thing. I have to do it. Loot gilded chests. Oh yeah, this, uh, this mana shield is not gonna work. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna have mana shield on, because I have drained my mana. Yeah, so the mana shield just, it does protect me from all the things. But I don't want to have it on all the time, because then I just, I don't have to use heal and everything just goes to my mana shield. And I might use it in dungeons, where fatal damage would would mean death, so... And by fatal damage, that death is implied. <laughs> Alright, I got a loot gildeds, which are gonna be hard to find with the observer thing. Hey, gildeds, there we go. Okay, there's another monolith. Hello, gildeds. More down here, lovely. Oh, that's a champion skeleton. Okay, I thought it was a champion archer. It is not okay. We are fine. 
There's more gildeds. That's a roly poly champion. You wanna come here? Thank you. Hey, this has one gilded chest. There it is. Gilded, there we go. Wonderful. And we got a point. So the do doon do doon do doon means that you get a point. Okay. We got players move faster in this one. Plus two speed. Okay, that's neat. That's wonderful. Oh god, that's super speedy. So last time I got mana regen and cooldown reduction, I think. Yep. Mine vault ores. That's why you leave ore rooms. The last room was ore room. It should, could, could potentially just be this one. Yep. Okay, cool. That should be easy. Oh, and there's a dungeon. Hard difficulty. Okay, um, I have time. I, c I can do this. Okay, let's turn on mana shield. Yeah, so mana shield's not the greatest in this build, I don't think. Because it just drains my entire mana pool. I would probably have to run the crystal ball to be able to run this. Also no archives, sad. But here are here were the gilded chests that I needed. <laughs> but I wasn't checking this ore room. And if I would have checked this ore room, then I wouldn't be able to complete this altar. So it all worked out in the end. Come on, please tell me. Okay, there's more POIs. And we got 100% more mana region and 50% more cooldown reduction. That is, I feel like, the better one. There is a monolith. Lovely. There's our last monolith, so we're done with the vault, and we can now just search for more stuff. Maybe another altar, hopefully? Hey, there is another altar. Hello. Uternate chests. Okay. Um, that is gonna be hard in eight minutes, but we can try. I don't think I might do these ornates unless, like, I get extremely lucky and I find an ornate dungeon. That might help. No, that's a coin dungeon. I will still do it, though, because I want coin. I, st I feel taunt is better for this build. Or the mana shield just... If I run out of mana, the Archon turns off and my build just shut up, shuts off. So I'm gonna go back to taunt, I think. It's gonna be better. But now I can actually just run through this. On everybody. Up storm arrow. And just wait. There we go. No archive though, sadly. Hey, another chromatic iron room that I will take. Hey, I totally didn't think we're gonna complete our bounty. Or both of our bounties, hopefully. But uh, there we go. We are done. Did we complete both the bounties? No, you can only complete one of them. Well, I'm glad it chose this one. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, we got a trinket. I didn't even notice. Hey, we got an Omega Wand from probably a champion that I didn't even notice. Cool. Ooh, uh, yeah, let's not roll the trinket. Let's put the trinket back in here. It's gonna put in, get put into the system. That's fine. Let's roll. Ooh, that's a new wand transmog. It's Cali- Oh, God. Okay, hello. <laughs> well, that's a wand. I think unless we get Omega pieces of gear, it's currently not even worth to upgrade to any of our gear right now, because all of this, these pieces are Omega. So, unless we get that, we're not upgrading anything. The one that I currently have is just better in terms of anything that is on here, and I'm just going to keep on using this one. This one can stay in our box and be ready for when we need it, and I probably will just reroll the Fear Cloud because it's really not that good, for my build at least. It has been a little bit since I recorded that last clip. I may or may not have gone on a six day skiing trip and had a wonderful time. And I had a whole plan of how I wanna upload like random vaults in the time that I was and then I just didn't have any time to get 
videos uploaded and stuff and I even had a video ready and uploaded and I just couldn't get a thumbnail ready and everything so I'm sorry for that and there was a week without content but I am alive I'm here we're gonna do some more vaults and best part of all we're in update 13 let's go over the changes that happened in update 13 the big thing that has changed is cake vaults and we're gonna try and do some cakes Probably not this episode, but at least in the future. We have five seals. I think I bought one or two in update 13 when I was running some vaults in the new vendors, which is another thing that's new. And I had three from before, but I never crafted one seal of the confectioner, I believe. And I didn't want to craft a hundred of them because I'm not that kind of person. I feel like they should be like a treat. You find it in the vendor and you're excited. Ooh, cake hunt, I can go do a cake vault. So we're gonna do that eventually. The other vault change is the light the braziers, and it's no longer light the monoliths, and it's much better. I have run one vault so far with light the braziers, but I wanted to do a proper light the braziers vault today, because that feels like it's really good. The one that I ran, though, I did get Dungeon Hunter, I believe. I was looking to get more reputation points, and I just massively failed that vault, so I'm not even going to show it. But you can see we have a bunch of reputation points. We have a total of 25, so we can go build our Divine Paradox thing, which we're going to do today. That is the big thing that I want to go try and build that. We do have quite a bit of gold, but I think I want to do an architect one with maybe some coves or dragon rooms and get some more gold. So maybe we do that first, and then we go do our Divine Paradox. I have managed to make this 300 extra coin piles. It is still cursed, but we're gonna remove those. Five times ne random negatives and four dragon rooms and 17 minutes, which plus the four minutes that we have, I think it's like five minutes ish per dragon room that we spend. And if there's gonna be a lot of coins, I'm gonna spend even more time. So I think four dragon rooms should be fine. I don't think I can push it for another one. Do we wanna try another one? Hold on, let's see. Let's make another dragon description and see if we add this and it becomes unmodifiable. And then we'll see from there. Still fine. We can try and add more time as well. We can just add more of these. Still okay. And there we go. That's unmodifiable. 20 minutes, 57 seconds, plus the four minutes that we get from our relics, or four and a half, something like that. So that should be a full almost 25 minutes to run this vault, which should be plenty of time. Let's remove the curses. Do we want to just do... We'll just do a mode of sanctity. I don't really care. Let's get one of those. We have a bunch of them anyway. So there we go. All the curses gone. And we can just run this and get a whole bunch of coins. Mobs have 10% more health. They are... We have 50% trap disarm. That's fine. Three times shortened. Really? Minus three minutes. That was very unlucky. But we do have 300 coin piles. We have 21 minutes. Plus any sort of vault fruit that we want to put in here. I think I'll just put the lemons and the oranges down, because I might use some of those. Where did you spawn? So many coins, though. Yeah, we did five rooms this vault, and I had plenty of time left over. I could have done six. Yep. Okay. So we can do six in round 20 minutes or so. Good to know. <laughs> 11,699 coin piles collected. That is insane. We had around 200 gold in this bag, and we now have 300, so that is uh, quite a lot. I think I'm actually gonna just put all my gold in my bag and we can we can empty out and see how much we actually got. So we had 200 in here, so let's do that and that. So that's like two stacks that we put back. Ish. We can toss the rest in here. And then we empty the best bag, which has 60,000 bronze and 1,000 silver, two pogs, a trinket, Relic, relic fragment, and we also got a bit of gear, I think. Yeah, quite a bit. That's a lot of champions. Ooh, Omega Magnet. Awesome. The trinket I won't roll. I've been giving them to other patrons so they can roll them, because that way they get uh, new trinket unlocks. All right, let's do that. 
And let's import the bronze and we can see the gold go up by a lot. Out of the gear, we got a special rare magnet, which has 35 extra legendary mining speed. We've been using the legendary mining speed one in our overworld magnet from level 90. And we could replace it with this one, but I don't think that I need it like copiously or item rarity in the overworld. It doesn't make a difference. I would need more prefixes than suffixes, so I could add more velocity and range. We do have this Omega Magnet with three prefixes and two suffixes, and we can potentially make it a good thing, but we currently still have this magnet. Uh, so this is going to go into this chest and just sit here for when we need it. This has emptied, so we... <laughs> We got over a thousand gold just from that one single vault. Okay, that's insane. So let's grab a bunch of this. We're gonna toss it in our bag. I think it can be in our bag. And I don't think we need anything else. We have a thousand eight hundred gold. That's insane. I gotta do more of those vaults. I have more echo that I can use to make more dragon rooms. And we do have more. We have 29 more wealthy catalysts that we can use. So we can get gold if we need to get gold. Awesome. I believe now we need a seal of the creator and then we need a new crystal. I think we have everything for this. Maybe the mushrooms. Now we do. Okay. Cool. Grab our blank crystal, put this on. Lovely. And we can just go run this. I have my gold. I don't think I need anything else for that. Just gold and we should be good. If not, I wasted a pog and a crystal, but I think we can just do that and go in. And we have been here before in the episode and we do have a dragon room right away plus one extra wooden and ooh, this is weirdly loaded we have a common room for soul harvest extended and one tannos reputation we have a common room with lucky that i believe is like item rarity or item quantity i think rarity and here we have extended phoenix lucky that is really good phoenix means i can't die so i'm assuming i have to grab gold and now I can buy this. Yeah, okay, let's go buy the dragon room because that is really good. It's like one off right up or here. And we get chunky mobs, which is fine. It's 10% more mob health and one X wooden. So how does one buy this? Should I click left? Why can't I buy this? Ah, okay, there we go. So it was weird with the, it's weird with the blocks. And I want to buy this common room as well. It's like weird with low, yes, you see? Why are you being wonky? Okay, now now you bought it. That was super weird. Okay. So let's see from the dragon room if we get anything good. And there shouldn't be anything in here besides a dragon and coins that we can't mine. So here we have a common room with plentiful and extended. That is really good. Then we have soul harvest. And another common room with extended, phoenix, and opulent. Opulent, I think it's quantity. Right? Ooh. I probably should open my Divine Paradox Builder on my other screen and we can actually build stuff. We have an hour and a half. I think we should be fine. Okay, Ooh, we have a painting room. Common room and another common room, okay? So I'll take the painting room, that's really good, with clumsy sh three times shortened. <sighs> Angry mobs. I mean, the painting room is great and all, do I want to take the three times shortened and 114 vault gold? I think it could have something else from some other side, maybe. And then this to the right should be the painting room, right? Yeah. It's still, now it's two times shortened. One rapid, one wild. And then if we go to the right should be the painting one. One shortened, two chunky. And then to the right should be the painting room and see if we have shortened on this one. We do not. Chunky mobs and rapid mobs. Lovely. And 112, 119 gold. I'll take that over the shortened. Because you already have very little time in these vaults. So now we do have the painting room unlocked. Mushroom. One chunky, one rapid. I will take that. I feel like it's easier if I just show you the entire paradox vault that I built. Rather than showing the entire building process of it. So as you saw, we have a dragon room, we have a mushroom room, and we have a painting room. And they're all very close to the portal. I also uncovered a dragon room and a painting room down here. But I sadly maxed out the quantity of the rooms that we can build. Because we can build as many rooms from each god as we have reputation points. Which means that we have 7 Tenos, 6 Idona, 6 Valora, and 6 Vendar. 
And this dragon room requires seven Valara reputation. So we could get that easily because then we'll still be at 25 reputation points. And for other rooms, and if you want to build more, you have to get more reputation into one god. Go inside, see if you can build, let's say, the seventh Velara or the eighth Velara or the ninth Velara and so forth to get your paradox even bigger. But for now, this is it. Let's go run it and clear the dragon room, the mushroom room, and the painting room if we can and see how much time we have left and we can just run around some other common rooms as well. Let's get the dragon room first. Actually has quite a few coins because we have a little bit of wealthy on this. Oh, come on, let me in. Oh, I am lagging like crazy. Why am I laggy so? And my Archon isn't on. I'm so laggy. There's champs. Get Storm Arrow. While my Archon resets. Okay, I can now turn on my Archon. Things can die. There we go. Because this is a Vendor room, it's actually a little bit harder to see the coins on top of the dragon, at least. Okay, I think we're pretty much good here. Pretty much done. We can head on out. Gotcha. Okay. And I believe this painting room should be different every time I enter it. Like, there should be different chests, like, not this many gilded in here. And then we do have a little bit of ores in here. There we go. And here we have a few mates. Lovely. So I did almost all the paint buckets. There's this one here. With lots of wooden. Lovely. Then we have this one. With many uh, ore. There we go. And I believe downstairs should be some coinage. Awesome. There could be multiple piles, I think. Yep. Got those over there. Oh, there's another bucket. Hey, bucket. Give me all of your chests. Thank you. And I think we're good. So the painting room is fairly quick to loot. Okay. So now we're in the painting room. We went south from the dragon room. So the dragon room is north. And we go one to the right here. And then we should be going left. And one right should be the mushroom room. We're not, if I'm not mistaken. And after we do this one, then we can do whatever we want. Loot rooms normally. Awesome. This guy being Vendar is actually nice because you can see the chests with the contrast a little bit better. <laughs> Hey, bounty complete. Three living chest scrolls. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, that helps. Super quickly. <laughs> oh, here we can actually gather the building blocks. The, like, Vendor stuff blo blocks and stuff. Okay. I wish that you could just make these with, uh, I don't know, maybe using these blessings or something to, to craft them up. That could be a good, cool idea. But these blocks look really cool, and I would love to use them for building, at least. Maybe. 
We have three minutes left, and my puppy is getting restless because she needs to go out. So I'll just finish this and see what how we did. 150 or 1500 coin pals. That's really good. 61 ores, 258 chests. Awesome. These blessing things that we got, I think I have more in my bag somewhere in this guy. So I could have turned these in, but we didn't come close to completing the vault. So we can just put these in here to get soul valued. Lovely. As far as the loot goes, we got quite a few charms. We got even a majestic one and a regal one. And a few regular ones. Lovely. We got a majestic vendor with 44% and a regal vendor with 36 Okay. And that is going to have to do it for today's episode. I am really hoping that you did enjoy it. I had a lot of fun building the Paradox Vault and trying it out for the first time. And that vault can be run once per day. I think it resets every 20 hours or so. And it can be a cool, constant income of at least a few resources from that mushroom room, the painting room, and the dragon room that we have. And if we build the second dragon room, that's going to be even more gold that we can get every day. So with all that said, I really want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and you can subscribe to get notified of when new videos go live. Plus, you can support me on Patreon and become a YouTube member if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. <laughs>